little time with me How can you let me watch you sleep Then break my dreams the way you do Oh, oh good morning uh, You are here a bit early today aren't you? Kind of impinging the boundaries slightly no, I'm just kidding. Hello and welcome. My name is Amy and do you ever wake up in the morning and just really, really loathe the idea of getting out of bed every morning, right? Well, if that's the case, then today's your day because I'm going to show you how you can turn your sheets into a maxi dress. So this is the little number we will be creating today. Hello. So all you will need for this project is obviously a sheet. I've chosen one with birds on it, um, simply because I liked it. And then you will need a cord, um, whatever colour happens to match your dress, and you'll need a piece of elastic. So if you are interested in learning how to create a maxi dress out of a sheet, then please stay watching. So with a tape measure you're just going to measure from your toes to just above your boobs. Take that measurement and run it down the sheet that you've folded in half long ways and then just cut straight across. With the two folded sides that you've got now, run a row of stitches down them. Fold the small section right side out with both the hems of the smaller piece and the larger piece facing downwards you're just going to get the small piece and shove it inside the big piece and then match up both seams there and then fold the fabric out so that the seam is at the centre back just like so with your scissors you're going to cut some small armholes out of each side of the sheet. Use the piece that you've cut out as a guide for the other armhole so that you get them even. Now pin all the way around the entire top of the dress. And run a row of stitches all the way around. Cut some wee nips around the armhole, but make sure you don't go through the roll of stitching. Fold the dress so that the right sides are facing out. And then, with a pin, make sure that you pull the corners that you've just sewn out, just so that they're nice and, I don't know, pointy. Run a line of pins around both of the armholes, and this will mean that it'll sit flat for you as you're sewing and then sew a top stitch around both of the armholes. So at the top of the dress, fold it over about 2cm and pin it down and do the same on the other side. Because you're going to put a cord through this bit here, you're going to want to try and stick to as close to the bottom edge as you can as you're sewing, which will mean that you'll have about a centimetre and a half smooth casing. With the top sewn, you're going to measure down about 15 centimetres and put a wee pin there. And then get some tailor's chalk and just run a straight line right across the dress. From that line, you're going to get your measuring tape and measure down another 5 centimetres. And again, pin it and run your tailor's chalk along in a straight line. Then down both lines that you've just drawn do two rows of gathering stitch per line. So now with two bits of elastic that fit around your waist, sew them down the lines that you've created to gather them. And as you're sewing, stretch the elastic out so that it pulls back in. And make sure that you do two rows of stitching down each bit of elastic to hold it secure. Now with your cord and a pin, put the pin through the top of the cord and this will help to feed it through and you're going to start feeding it through the space that you've created on top of the dress. This will form your straps. So the easiest way 
way to do this next step with working out the straps is to just put this side on which is where you've looped it on through kind of shuffle the dress around so that everything sits nicely with both the front and the back and then with these two loose ends you just work out how long you want the strap on this side get some scissors and cut it and then with these ends here just sew them both together like that and then with the sewn edges sort of shuffle it around so that it's sitting at the back here um, so that you won't see where you've joined it and that's it and there we have it so a maxi dress made entirely out of a sheet here's a long shot of the dress so the cool thing with how the top is designed is that you can pull the fabric along the cord to make different um, looks for the top so you can pull the gathering over to one side like that and just pull that side out so you've got kind of flat on one side and gathered on the other you can pull all the fabric down like that which creates a different shape in the neckline there or you can pull it up as well which once again just creates a different shape with the top half if you're wondering what other ways you can wear this dress you can wear it like this so for this look all I've done is I've just paired the dress with a black belt and a beaded sort of necklace with some black net on it just to connect the black together so that's quite quite simple but it just kind of jazzes the dress up nicely another look is this one so what I've done here is I've just put on a black vest um, and depending on what colour sheet you use a denim vest I think would also look quite nice except I don't have a denim vest so black it is and I've also laid up a whole lot of necklaces just to tie in with the vest another way to wear it is like this so for this look I've been very sneaky indeed I've just put a belt around my hips there and I've pulled up all the fabric which creates a nice little bubble dress and then I've just paired that with a white beaded necklace another thing that I forgot to mention before was that with your sheets you can always tie dye them and bleach them and sew things onto the dresses as well so just because the sheet might be just a plain coloured sheet that doesn't mean that it needs to stay that way so I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you can rock this little number in the near future and I hope you have a very, very nice day. Grace and peace.